Hey there everybody, welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. Just gonna do a little bit more researching with these guys. Uh, game Dev Gems. Train. Game Dev Gems. So, last time we hired this Ralph Coster guy. And he's gonna, of course, cost us a uh, fortune every month. Excuse me, these guys get paid a lot for a monthly job. Most people are lucky to make nearly that much a year in today's economy. Okay, so let's get a new game. Let's develop a new game. Actually, before we develop a new game, let's take a look at our game history list. We did Air Dogs, which was okay. It could have been a better game. Uh, Pony Karting, that was actually one of our last decent games. Final Dynasty actually was the best game that we've released so far in the in this section of the game or did we release nightly tactics before actually I think we released nightly tactics before moving on Olympic tryouts that was just kind of a fun game maybe we should make another Olympic tryouts game it's been a couple years no why not Develop a new game, we're gonna put it on the same system. I think that we have enough stuff to actually call this a sequel, even though it's not a sequel. Sports, simulation. So, this game is now on Steam, which I don't have it on Steam yet because there's no Steam keys yet, but the people that made the game are saying that they're going to actually fix this game up a little bit, make it make it a lot better than it was, or than it is. I think one of the main things they're going to fix is the lack of feedback, which will be great. That will probably push this game into a very very enjoyable state because I'll finally have some clue as to what I'm doing and really I don't enjoy trying to play this game by figuring out what you're supposed to do based on what a wiki tells you to do so world design that can actually get dropped down to about here sound will get bumped up and we'll see how that works out nine bugs to patch There's the last bug. Do we get anything else, guys? There we go. An extra design point. Hey! The TES is coming out soon. Let's finish that up. We leveled up our graphics capabilities, so we... Actually, we can't get that yet. Uh, let's see. Is there anything new we can put onto a new engine? There's a few things. Not much. Probably not worth making a new engine for. But, hey. Let's see how well we did. Well, we got high numbers. That's good. It looks like it's about on par with the last time I made an Olympic tryouts game. It's maybe slightly better. Let's take a look. Game history, that was an 825. The last Olympic tryouts was a solid 8. So, hey, slightly better. And... We'll probably get pretty good, uh, pretty good amount of sales off this then. I would hope. It's decent. I mean, it's not spectacular, but it's decent. All right, we need you to start researching things. Um, let's see, what should we get? Let's actually get multiplayer in because multiplayer is a good thing to have. I like games that have multiplayer. I'm sure you do too. Uh, we could research meme games, but no. Meme games are kind of a dead-end area for us right now. Until we release another major hit, medium games are pretty much out of the question. You finished up uh, faster than I thought you would. Oh well. Let's see. Suppose we should start developing another game right away for a young audience. It's been a few months, so why not just do... Final Dynasty 2. 
Wait, what was Final Dynasty in the first place? I forgot! It's been 10 days since I last played this. Let's see, it was... Fantasy RPG, of course. So... Final Dynasty... For a young audience... Fantasy... RPG... On the Gameling, because Gameling is a pretty good platform. Sinister Engine. I forgot to put a 2 in that title. Now, I know there's not really going to be much difference between these games, but... Actually, we want to have that way up there. Gameplay can get dropped down to about here. Engine can get dropped down to about here. I'm hoping that with this one I'll actually have a lot more... A lot more, um... Cash to cushion the development of another engine. And then we'll start releasing games on the Super Tess. Or Stess, I guess you could call it. The Stess. Good world, good graphics, sound is about there, and let's... Let's just let her go. See what happens. Yeah, that was an okay amount of sales, I guess. Uh, 34,000 for research? I, I guess. Why not? Let's see what we found. We got business! Hey, let's do a business simulation. Okay, it's finished. And you get out of here and go on vacation. New records on both of those, so that's a good... That's a very good thing, actually. We leveled up sound, so now we can research stereo sound. Um, let's have you... Actually, research stereo sound, I think. Nope, can't research it. Uh, new topic, how about that? Let's research prison. Final Dynasty 2. Hey, there were some 10s in there. Okay, that's that's a very good score. Another 10? Okay, that's very good. Oh boy, I think we just released a, another amazing game. Oh, don't tell me that it's going to... Oh, that would have been great if that was another 10. I've never, ever had all 10s. Okay, we are selling huge amounts of this game. Ranked number one on the market. That's great. Wow. Um, okay, so we're gonna create a new engine, I guess. We'll have 3D graphics instead of 2D graphics because we're gonna start making some really good games. Um, wait. What was the name of the engines? I forgot. Okay, Sinister Engine, Mark, whatever. Mark 3. Number 3. Allowed to have all these options because we want to be able to use it on pretty much any system. Or sell peripherals, I guess. I don't know. Lots of research needs to go into this. We'll get... Well, not a lot of research. Lots of technology needs to get put into that. Man. We did a very good job with that one. Of course, if we release another game exactly like it right now, we would get nothing. And then the play system thing, which is kind of pointless because they give you an extra day that they could just say on the same day just save you a little bit of time and they could have made this part shorter is what I'm saying or at least gave it a week even if it wasn't historically accurate I would rather have had a bigger break in between so that more stuff could get done before I spam with more messages 
And in two months, the entertainment system will be off the market, which is just fine with me because I'm not developing anything more for it. Okay, let's start developing a new game. I'm gonna do a prison game. Prison. Prison. Action? This is probably a horrible idea that I'm doing. And if it is, I'm sure that somebody out there is yelling at the screen that I am a complete moron. But why not? <laughs> a prison game for everyone! That's not something you normally would think would be a good idea to let everyone play. Let's see... Actually, you know what, we're gonna release it as a simulation game because I'm pretty sure an action game won't work. 3D graphics, we got the license. I did put it on the super test, right? Let's give it multiplayer. Uh, since this is a simulation, story, see, story is not important. Engine's gonna be the main focus. We'll have a look. A little bit of focus on gameplay, at least more than story and quest. In fact, story and quest will go down there. Wow, we actually got a lot from that. Almost doubled our fan base, which is pretty much always going to be a good thing. Let's see, dialogues. We're not going to worry about dialogues. Just pop that down to there. Level editor and AI, of course. And I put level editor in every single game. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. I, I guess it gives you a better chance of getting bubbles. Day and night cycle, because that sounds like a good idea. So we'll leave, we'll leave it like this, actually. It's our first 4A in a 3D graphics on a completely new system that's probably going to end in failure. The test is no longer supported. We nearly made a million dollars off of it. Of course, most of that money went into developing new games. That's good enough for me. Oh wait, I forgot marketing. Darn it! I could get more money out of that. Oh well, a little bit late now. Branching story, that's a good thing to research. Let's see, do, do, do. There it is. And you will train and game dev gems. Gems, not gems. Uh, this is not going to be a good end. It's just... It's there. That's about it. Oh well. Hey, they kind of liked it, sort of. They, they kind of liked it too. What's wrong with you then? And what's wrong with you? Eh, it's a six. Why not? I should have been a mature game, actually. And it should have been on the computer. And it should have been called Prison Architect. Well, if it's profitable, then it's profitable. If it's not profitable, then I don't care. Let's take a look at game history. Um, I'm sure we had some pretty decent games on the entertainment system that I can put onto the entertainment system too. That was Nightly Tactics. Was that a computer one? That was a computer one. Tank Tactics, also a computer. Astro Mercenaries, that was a flop. Never want to go into that foray again. Counting the Stars! My first attempt at an educational game in space. It was a horrible idea. Rumble Droids, that's what we should do. Let's see, Rumble Droids was a sci-fi action game. We can do that again. So he's probably almost done with his training. Come on. There we go. Develop a new game for everyone. That's a sci-fi action game on the entertainment system, the super entertainment system, using the Mark III engine, Rumble Droids 2. Next, we're spending a lot on this. <clears throat> Gameplay through the roof, story and quest, just, just throw it out the window. I 
wonder if it shows us anything about Prison Mat. Hey, we're making a profit on Prison Master at least. That's the important thing. Of course, the even more important thing is actually how much we spent on the li darn license. Let's see, get rid of dialogues all together. This game is definitely going to be more tech focused in the end. Drop the world design down to about half, up the sounds to about here. We'll take out the open world part. Prison Master's off the market, we made a profit, so I guess it was an okay game. And any profit always helps out with paying off the license fee. So, Rumble Droids 2. Wow, we're actually pumping a lot more into this. Oh. I forgot to market it again. Let's do a small market. Let's do that. It'll get us a little bit of hype while we're polishing off this off a little bit more, getting a little bit more stuff into it. No particularly strong trends, so that's going to be a good thing for us. Oh, we developed a bug. After we fix that bug, we'll release. New record on technology, which is always good. Somehow we leveled up in dialogues, even though we have no dialogues in the game be able to research a dialogue tree, which actually, let's take a look at that. Research, how much is a dialogue tree going to cost? Eh, it's a little bit much on the research part. Let's see, what else can we get? Eh, let's get a mouse. See, Rumble Droids 2? It's, it's above a 5? It's enjoyable. These guys, it seems like they don't particularly care for it, but they thought it was decent. These guys, they think that I could do better, probably. And these guys just don't like me all at all. Let's see, what can you research? Well, let's start foraying into casual games. And so long as Rumble Droids 2 makes a profit at all, I will be happy. Alright, so let's start developing a new game. It's going to be for a young audience. Yep, you can probably guess what game I'm going to be making already. RPG. On the game link, because that's apparently a, always going to be the best market. Let's see, what's it compared to? It's got 20%, everything else has less than 20%. 18 is the highest comp competitive market, that's the Vena gear. Which we're not going to bother paying for a license on that thing. Final Dynasty 3. Alright. It's gonna be... Actually, if we go with... Hmm. We're gonna go with this. Just so we can have the 2D graphics version 2. Because I don't... I'm not sure if the game actually will penalize you for putting a 3D graphic option on a primarily 2D graphic system. But I'd rather not risk it. Games, games, games. Okay, that's going to be a good one to go to. Alright, let's market this thing. Go give it magazines and how would you do demos? I want to do a small campaign. Let's just do magazines. It'll give us a little bit of hype. People will be happy again. Drop down that. AI's going to have to stay up. Dialogues. Uh, let's balance out those two a little bit. Hype is not that high right now, but it's getting better. world sound can go there and we'll be good I hope eh, my room's starting to get warm again it's, just, it's very strange because it was freezing this morning Rumble droids is off the market how much did that make us game history the profit was only 42,000 not that great and sell it And 
you go on vacation. I think it's about time we start looking for another person. Final Dynasty 3, not going to be as great as 2. I mean, we didn't add anything new. It was pretty much a cookie cutter of the exact same game. But it's a solid score. Almost solid score. Game demo. Don't care about finding anyone special. Never do. Let's see. Pretty decent balance. A lot more tech than design, but that's okay. I think we're going to go with you. Yeah, you're a new guy, so we're going to have to give you some welcome training. Everyone else will go into training along with you, just because... Oh, you're actually on vacation, so I can't train you. Get back in the office. Yeah, we're, we're just going to go for a small booth. Wait, what? Dude, his bar is completely full. I think I found a glitch in the game. I sent him on vacation, then hired a new guy, and the bar was filling up while he was on vacation. I think that because he was already on vacation, it kept filling up, and he stayed on vacation longer. That might be a glitch, that might not be a glitch. And it, it could just be that his bar wouldn't have been empty at all because he was on vacation. But his bar did drop way lower because I hired a new guy. So, I don't know what to think of that. It probably was a bug. And some more training. And I think I'll end the episode right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and fave. I